the biggest night in mixed martial arts, the PFL World Championship in 2023 here in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, playing host to six world title bouts, and the return of Kayla Harrison. We at the PFL fights, ready to watch six million dollars hand it out. You know, I'm coming for my millions next. Oh, my million too. Straight up, whoever the champ is, better get ready because we're gonna have a million dollar fight. And all of the title bouts are against the backdrop of some of the biggest news to break in the sport of mixed martial arts. This week, PFL finalized the purchase of Bellator, merging to create an MMA powerhouse. Look, I'm a standing champ. You know, ready to defend against any champ. The richest night in mixed martial arts, the biggest night with six world title bouts, six one million dollar checks to be handed out. The first of which happens right now. Featherweight championship. Out to the blue corner, Jesus Pinedo. Everything he does, Sean, I mean, he, he walks out angry, he talks angry, he <laughs> fights angry. This kid means business. Is he angry at Gabriel Braga for standing in his way tonight? We're about to find out. And in the red corner, Gabriel Braga. Gabriel Braga, he's 25 years old. He has yet to taste defeat in his pro mixed martial arts career and a limitless bright future for him, especially if he can get a world title tonight. Five five minute rounds. How much? We are underway with Gabriel Braga in the green, Jesus Pinedo in the gray. Braga starts out the fight with the leg kick. Oh, right hand there from Gabriel Braga. And Pinedo starting to find his range now, guys. That chin of Pinedo is unbelievable. <laughs> well, one of the things that makes him so dangerous is just his disregard for what his opponents are capable of. Final few seconds. Braga tries to roll out of the control. Pinedo oh, offers two yeah. from the top. What a round one for both men. Incredibly technical, striking battle so far. I haven't seen a takedown attempt yet. Well, this is why I was so excited to watch these guys go at it for a second time, picking up right where they left off. Nice flurry here from Pinedo. Oh, nasty oh, left hand and a switch knee. He broke up with this. Braga shelling up. He's in Pinedo flurrying oh, his oh, way oh, off. What? And 2023 PFL featherweight world champion, Jesus Pinedo. What you're witnessing here, folks, is a global MMA powerhouse coming together, champion versus champion. You will see these fights in 2024. That's Pitbull looks there. like he's about to bite, man. This is <laughs> yeah, a little intensity there. Ahora llegar a casa, descansar un poco y pensar lo que lo que se venga, ¿no? Puede puede pelear con quien sea, en verdad, con quien la organización me ponga, estoy listo. Marisa Pacheco, 155 pound women's champ a year ago, looking to make it two belts in two separate divisions tonight. But first, her rival, Kayla Harrison. Here we go, fight! Showcase bout here at 150 pounds. Already Kayla looks much lighter on her feet. Nice ability to get in and out. Kayla behind a big right hand. And now up and oh, down wow. he goes. Beautiful duck under, beautiful finish with the flare. Ask, get to the cage. Get to the cage, scoot. Scoot and start low-legging up. Now Kayla Harris. Oh, nice and job by Aspen. And chain wrestling here from Aspen Ladd. Up. Oh, look at the hips. Nice. Wow. Oh, and a beautiful reversal with the toss. Kayla Harrison uses momentum on that driving double-leg attempt. Nice, yes, yes. Posture and punch. Right in the center, okay, there we go, there now we ground a pound. That's gotta be a little demoralizing, to do that good work and get all the way to your feet, yeah. and then get dumped right back to your back. Put in your right knee, start standing. Right clean. Third and final round, no quit in Aspen Lad. She knew how to respond to pretty much every situation that Kayla put her in, but Kayla was still able to put her in those situations because, Absolutely. quite frankly, she's Kayla Harris. <laughs> exactly. 
Pumping out the jab and then the left hand behind it. Kayla Harrison stringing together some nice combinations here in the third round. Nice left hand again left. there. Beautiful straight left by Kayla. Aspen, greatest scramble, greatest scramble, greatest scramble. Look at the volume that Kayla Harrison has been able to produce here. Knee, 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 knee. Oh, oh, another one. That was a heavy one. Nice oh. foot sweep. Again, the demoralization to fight all the way to your feet and then have them swept out from under you like that. Eight takedowns. 162 total strikes landed from Kayla Harrison. He'll win it by unanimous decision. Kayla Harrison! No surprises from the judges. Kayla Harrison back to her winning ways. For the most part, like getting inside of a cage and locking the door and like fighting in front of the world is pretty intense. I suggest everyone. I think everyone should have to have one fight in their life so that they have a little more respect and uh, humility. Hey, thanks guys. No, it was a great fight. Thank you guys so much. Where are we going now? I'm gonna go shower and then find a beer, hopefully. 205 pound championship between Josh Silvera and Impica Sunganai. There you go, first round, you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, come on! High kick attempt to open the action from Kasunganai. Beautiful Super. take down there. Kasunganai attacking the head, making him think about it. Nice oh. job. Silvera's on her back. Oh, oh, right. Now look at this. And now Interesting, Hippo. bulldog. Oh. Bulldog attempt by Kasunganai here. Keep yourself so close. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it rolling. Yeah, and it's been a very fast-paced fight. Now landing even more shots. Let's go, John! Josh doesn't want to get pinned up against the cage there. He's got to be careful. Oh! Great combination again. Huge shots. Oh! Nasty oh. left hook on the Wow. Team. The crowd here in D.C. chanting, let's go, Impa, let's go. Blow the second. Impa Kasunganai started his season on the PFL Challenger Series. He had to earn a spot in the season, and he just earned himself $1 million and a 205-pound title in the Professional Fighters League. Celebratory dance from Impa. Impa Kasunganai, challenger to champion. Ladies and gentlemen, for your winner, via unanimous decision, Impa Kasunganai! God is great. If you could be in your car one day, you could be a world champion the next. That's in anything you do. You might feel like giving up right now, but don't. Just one more day. Promise yourself that. You'll be a champion in your own life. Let's go, baby! Thank you for letting me come to the gym. Seriously, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks, man. I want you to hold it for a little You did that. Yeah, sure. One more fight. Let's go. I said the first was always more special. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm super proud of you. Not a little bit of life. It's not easy to do that. All right? <coughs> you gotta do the whole thing. <coughs> That's all. Yeah. Fighters are here in the building, getting ready for a million dollar opportunity. There's Sada Bousi, last year's welterweight champion. His opponent, Magomed Magomed Karimov, he's got his eyes on a second belt and a second one million dollar check. Both opponents are great, you know, a great fit to put on a brilliant fight. They're gonna be looking in my face after the fight, so let's go. Touch of the gloves and a brief embrace, Sada Bousi and Sal Paul Stain. Magomed trying to use that lead leg as a means to try to get to that clinch position. Magomed getting aggressive early here. Contributing! Goya! Goya contributing! Small stick from! Seg Victor, Seg Victor! Body lock here, there's the step around. There's the angle, there's the takedown. Magomed, get an anchor. 
Again, trying to get one anchor in yeah. now, but Sadabu gets to his feet. Great job by Sadabu nice to get back to his feet. Nice hand fighting, beautiful underhook. That was beautiful. Oh, 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 another attempt at the hip toss. Gets the trip. Scrambled by Sadabu, oh. nice job. Landed a nice left hand as he was getting up as well. That surprised Magomed Karamov. And I think he likes to use it because it's oh, him oh, in big the right hand. Huge another right one. hand. Oh, that hurt his body, looked like. Straight right to the body. And Sadabu back up. Now look at this. You don't see it. Uh -oh. oh, that's a guillotine attempt. He's got a good one too. It's tight. Yes, it's very yes, tight. Yes, very yes, tight yes, attempt yes, here from Maga. Yes, Maga. Yes, Maga. Yes, Maga. Maga millions. Submission victory in round three. That's all it takes. Declaring your winner by a physical tap out to a guillotine and. 2023 PFL welterweight world champion Magomed Magomed Karimov. Да, я очень счастлив, что сегодня выиграл, что сегодня нахожусь здесь, и еще больше счастлив, что я буду драться с новым чемпионом Белатор. Это для меня большой вызов, и я надеюсь, оправдаю все ваши надежды. Larissa Pacheco, perhaps the most explosive striker in women's mixed martial arts. More first round finishes than any athlete in the PFL, male or female. Her goal is to become the first two division champion in this company's history. Are you ready? Are you ready? Safe. As this fight opens, Pacheco a minus 1450 favorite. <laughs> Biggest favorite on the card tonight. See, look at that. She fired. As she always does. Watch the guillotine. We talk about Larissa Pacheco being a real complete mixed martial artist. It's only recently she discovered that crazy power. Oh, nice roll into that knee bar. There's a knee bar attempt. Oh, she's, she's got, got it got tight. It she's got it. Oh, oh boy. What an attack by Marina wow. Maknakinov. Incredible development here in this featherweight world championship. Oh, hard hit, hit, hit. That was close. And now she's angry. That's the yep. problem. Yep. Hey, a oh, wow. Hammer wow. fist now from the top position. No quit in Marina Maknakina, even in the face of serious adversity. I think that Russian girl, she's tougher than we expected. And I'm interested to see how these next couple rounds play out. It's been Larissa Pacheco mounting most of the offense. She, she's pretty much dominating this fight. It's a beautiful triangle setup, but Moknakina must have been in this position a thousand times. If Marina wins or Pacheco wins, whoever wins, they should be calling out Chris Cyborg. Pacheco's good. She's gonna win. Oh, oh, the high kick man, and then Marina caught it. This woman has a granite mind. What does it wow. take to get Marina Moknakina out of there? I told you that Russian was tough. Marina. Final 10 Marina. seconds. Of 25 full minutes. Final bell. Larissa Pacheco, barring any surprises, will make PFL history as the first two division champion. Ladies and gentlemen, of the fight. It's a good fight. It's a good fight. For your winner, by unanimous decision, and 2023 PFL women's featherweight champion. Larissa Pacheco! The first PFL two division champion, Larissa Pacheco, a second belt hung around her shoulder. É, e eu fiz uma guerra com ela. A gente só bater cansa também. Bati nela quatro rounds e a mulher nunca caía. É uma guerreira também. É muito bacana quando a gente encontra alguém que quer uma coisa tanto com a gente, faz a gente ter mais vontade de ir para cima.
Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, is our host for the 2023 PFL World Championship. The richest night in mixed martial arts, the biggest night. A heavyweight championship co-main event. Dennis Goldsov and Hena Fajera. And the largest fight in PFL history is underway. Two guys like this, you would give up some size. Now attacking that left arm of Fajeda, looking for that Kimura. He's got the grip. This way, this way, this way. Mina Fajeda, left arm in trouble here. Dennis Goldsov trying to crack that shoulder. No day shot. Oh, uh, that's incredible. Final 10 seconds of this first round. Both men seeking their first belt and their first $1 million check right. here. Round two here, 265 pound world championship. Oh, nice right hand by Fajeda. Over the ear of Dennis Goldsov, and there's another. Oh, and another, another one. Oh, oh he's hurt. Hurt. He's hurt. Knocks down the big time. And the hammer fist will finish. Problema with the championship. One right hand changed the whole fight for Hena Fajeda. It's unbelievable. Your winner via TKO and 2023 PFL Heavyweight Champion of the World, Hina Pereira! Concretização de um sonho, de muito trabalho duro, chegar até aqui e ser campeão mundial, é, ser um dos melhores do mundo, isso é muito gratificante. Ah, o sentimento é gratidão, felicidade, é, são muitos sentimentos, é... Vitória, Então, estou extremamente feliz e honrado em ser campeão. That leaves us with one fight left on the night. Olivia Albert Messier, the 2022 PFL lightweight champion, has talked about this potentially being one last ride into the smart cage. Cassius Clay Collard in the gray. Olivia Albert Messier, 2022 champ in the red. Our main event is underway, five potential five-minute rounds, and $1 million on the line. Yeah, Clay's trying to attack that lead leg, doing a good job so far. Just has to be careful to not leave his head in that center line. Nice head movement by Collard. Finishing that combination with another kick, and then tries to start one with the same. Man, he is staying very busy here against OAM. Oh, sharp right hand there from Collard. Take down attempt. Has Collard down to a hip. He's good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Drop that leg, drop that leg. That's it. Got it. Immediately goes to that body triangle. This is one of his best positions. Plays in trouble here. Pushes that elbow up. That's a choke. Again, the choke. It's very close to getting out, and the Canadian backpack came up in the fighters' conversations. Collard said that. Excellent escape there by Collard. More body work from Collard. Look for him to go back to that leg. Boy, OAM is having a lot of trouble moving. And yeah, he sure OAM is. He's trying to bank his own leg kicks. Right hand landed there on the counter from Clay Collard. Nice Superman. Superman. Oh, that stunned OAM. Call no question about right it. Right hand, and immediately OAM gets to wrestling and is able to secure the takedown. Once again, Olivier Albert Messier floats to Cassius Clay Collard's back. Baby, let's go! 
Collar teeing off on the hanging head of OAM. Uh-oh, under oh, the that's chin. Collar trying to spin his way out of it. Olivia Albert Messier steals round five Stop. and perhaps the fight for a lightweight championship. Let's go, Eddie! Let's go, Eddie! By unanimous decision, and 2023 PFL lightweight world champion, Olivia Albert Messier! OAM, back-to-back -back championships, and now 10-0 inside of the smart cage. Back-to-back -back tabarnak! Thank you, PFL, for believing in me. They were the only one who believed in me. And look where I am right now. I think PFL is the future. Thank you so much. Well, I had one f***ing hand all of my whole camp, dude. I broke my hand on Burgos, so I didn't wrestle the whole f***ing camp. I couldn't. I had one f***ing hand. He caught me with one left, and I was like, really, bro? I was like, that's all you got? <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing you wrestled, because you can't box to save your f***ing life. <laughs> Thanks to all these champions of the Professional Fighters League have given us another fantastic season. And the future is so incredibly bright with the acquisition of Bellator. We'll see you again next year, and we'll see you December 8th for PFL Europe.